Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 21st Excel 2007 tutorial. And today is kind of a continuation of Excel 2007 tutorial number 20 where we talked about linking spreadsheets and today, or linking worksheets, and today I'm going to show you how to consolidate worksheets and that is to pull data from different worksheets and consolidate it. So I'm going to do a really simple example here and it should be a pretty brief tutorial. Um, what I did here is I just made a, um, a spreadsheet and the only thing I have on here is total sales right now. Just a label of total sales. So what I want to do is I want to pull data from different spreadsheets. So the reason why you would do this is again you'd have different work groups maybe updating uh, information from databases or spreadsheets and maybe someone else is running reports and gathering statistics from all that data. So what I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to go and uh, talk about three different ways that you can create, consolidate um, worksheets. One is you could use formulas where you could manually type it in there. Another uh, way you can do it is use what's called the paste special command. And you'll notice that when you go to paste, there you right click and you go to paste, you'll see paste special as an option. That's not really recommended. It's doesn't dynamically update. Um, the other thing that has to happen in that scenario is your source sheet where you're pulling your data from has to be open. Uh, what I'm going to show you is the third way to do it is to use the consolidate command that's a function within Excel. That gives you a lot of flexibility. The source sheets do not need to be open. They can be open or they could be closed. Um, but So I'm going to go through a, a quick example. What I did just to start off with, I'm going to show you I created a spreadsheet called product A sales and all I did was list number of items and then a total and then I did the same thing for product B right very basic spreadsheet and so we got 428 items and then uh, 435 so 800 and some odd total so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to total sales and what I want to do in this case I want to consolidate information from product A and product B onto this completely different worksheet here and put it in this cell right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the data tab and I'm going to use the consolidate uh, function which is over here under the data tools. Click consolidate. Actually I put these in here before so I'm going to delete them. So there's several options up here. You can summarize the data, you can count it, you can get the average, you can get the max if you were gathering sales for example gather the largest salesperson's you know number of items or dollar value of items sold and so forth. So you can see there's several options there. We're going to leave it on some for right now and keep it really simple. In the reference box that's where I'm going to click. You can do this a couple of different ways. You can click the browse button and go find your sheet where you're looking for your data or you can just go click on it and what I'm going to do I'm going to bring up um, the product A um, worksheet here and how I'm going to do that, I'm going to go over here and do switch windows and go to product A and we could summarize everything here but I'm just going to click this total here and you see it automatically put it in there it put it in quotation mark because it does have spaces here but it's got the sheet name the worksheet that it's actually um, pulling it from, in this case sheet 1 and then the cell and you notice it makes it, um, it, it it uh, puts the dollar symbols there to make that a static um, reference okay so now you just click add and now we've added that to the consolidation but we're not done so we want to also pull product B sales so I click on I'm gonna go over here and switch windows and go to product B and now I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm gonna pull product B sales and now you see oh sorry about that I meant to pull product A that time so I'm gonna click product A Nope, sorry, I messed that up, sorry. Product B, and now you notice it changed it to product B. So I'm going to click Add, and now you notice down here I have all references. I have Product A Sales Sheet and Product B Sales, and I'm going to click OK, and you see what it did. It tallied up or computed the total sum of those two figures. So as I said, there's lots of different options there. I'm going to go back to the Data tab. I'm going to click Consolidate and now I can go to the function here 
and if I wanted to I could change it for example I could get the average change to average click OK 431.5 I could go and change it to the max right and it would tell me 435 which I think was see which one was product 435 that must have been product A so there it is product A so just want to share with you um, how to use consolidation this is a very simple example but you can get the idea you can have multiple sheets multiple pieces of data that, um, so have fun with that and I hope this was helpful please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any comments or suggestions please send them over to me thanks for joining